yarn friends. Thanks for stopping by for our visit today. Welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm so excited to be here with you today. I hope you're all having a great day. I'm having a very blessed day. So I wanted to share with you today my granny squares. I've went a little bit granny square crazy, but I'm loving it. So probably this at the end of last year of 2019, uh, Terry at Yarn Joy Podcast has showed a blanket that lays in or a chair in her background. And it was a red heart blanket that she had made, I guess, a couple years ago or a few years ago. And so she had said that she was going to write to, um, the, I guess it's red heart or yarn inspiration. I'm not sure. I think it might have changed to yarn inspirations. She was going to write to them and ask for permission to do a tutorial to make that blanket. So I was very excited about that because um, I do admire Granny Square Blanket, but I didn't know how to make one. It looked complicated to me, and so I wanted to give it a try. I didn't know if I'd be able to do it since I'm, you know, new to crochet, but I wanted to give it a try. And so Terry did and got permission. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I believe in about February, -ish, she... Um, showed in January, February, something like that, she showed how to make the granny squares and she did video tutorials, right-handed and left-handed. And so I jumped in and I made my first granny square and I was just like, I made a granny square. I couldn't believe it turned out like really well. I was so shocked at how well it did turn out. And so I just kept making granny squares. And then, um, now, Terry has videos that show them how to make the granny squares, how to connect the granny squares, and all that. And then she also has links below those that show um, the pattern and where to, you know, get, get the pattern and everything and a grid for how you can make yours look. So, anyway, um, I just got busy making granny squares galore. And I had picked six colors. A lot of people were making theirs were like scrap yarn. I had picked six colors out of my cabinet, my yarn cabinet, that I had like whole skeins from. So I had a yellow, and it's just a pale yellow, maybe like a butter yellow. And I believe all these are red hearts. And then orchid, minty, pink, a light blue, and flamingo. And so I thought those would go well together and not clash too much. So that's what I did. And so... I followed Terry's um, tutorial. She shows how to make the little squares with three rounds. And that was, you know, one of the first ones I made was a little three round one. And then she shows how to make the, um, trying to find one. <laughs> she shows how to make the six round square and also the six round rectangle. And then she'll show how to, you know, you can sew those together and such. Um, and so anyway, I was making these, but I didn't know that I wanted a big blanket made out of this or out of these colors. So I decided just to put mine together and make a baby blanket. And so that's what I did. Now we'll show you that my center square actually has a heart on it. And uh, I saw a picture of this heart or a heart like this on like Pinterest or somewhere on the internet and I thought oh that'd be cool to put as the center of my blanket and so I searched YouTube and I found a video it was probably lots of videos but I just watched one and I didn't really understand what the lady was saying and so I just decided just to look at the picture and make it myself and so that's what I did so this is the only square on here that has a heart the rest of them are Terry's pattern that she shows so you can see that um it's little squares and big squares and rectangles just sewn together and i used a, a white i had a big karen wind pounder so i used that as my white and slip stitched not slip stitched whip stitched those together and then um i went around the edge of the blanket and just did a simple double crochet border around the whole blanket 
and so I love how it turned out I, I just love it it's very um, soft and squishy and I believe I will put this in the fair under baby blanket most likely um, I'll just have I'm gonna have to look at the categories and see because I've made some other blankets <laughs> and see how that's gonna end up in there So, um, I made that, and I was just, like, in love with the granny square, okay? <laughs> and then I had two skeins of, I love this yarn, I think Nova Scotian Sky or something like that. I can't find my ball band to tell you the exact name of it, but, um, is that one? No. No, that's not it. But anyway, um, I think it's Nova Scotian Sky. So I made this granny square baby blanket. It's more like a security blanket size. But I used two balls of that I love this yarn. And it come out um, a good little size. It would cover a blanket baby. Or as I got older it could be a security blanket. Um, and this is how much I had left out of the two balls. And so I didn't know if I had enough to go around a whole other time. I didn't want to go around almost a whole time and then run out. So, I just stopped at that. But anyway, um, it's very squishy. I wouldn't mind doing one and just keep going. It might be the rectangles, rectangle one and then just keep going and going and making one for myself. And then um, I have a girl one going too. And this one I'm using um, Burnett Pop cherry I believe it's called so this one's real pretty and I have a I'm almost finished I have about that much more so I might get another two rounds and I'll be done with this one so I have a little girl blanket and a boy blanket to um, put in my stash for gifts whenever uh, Jody comes home from work and says that somebody at works having a baby I'll have a blanket to send and um so by then i'm just really hooked on the granny squares right <laughs> so i just started searching for other granny square projects <clears throat> and i came across fiber spiders granny square eight point star blanket so um, i had two things of uh, mandala happy colorway and so i just got busy and started making this eight point star blanket and it turned out really cute this is um just great it's easy to make easy to follow along now i am a new crocheter so fiber spider takes you um out seven rows and then he says repeat rows five six and seven so i did have to get clarification for that because i wasn't quite sure as the blanket got bigger what really you know it meant but I did get clarification and um, made that so this is really nice it looks great spread out um, it's just a pretty blanket you know it's not just the usual square blanket it is eight point star so I really like that I would like to um, like if I had had about, this was two cakes, <laughs> I couldn't think of it. This was two cakes of yarn. If I had, had three or four, I would have made it just like really big. But that's all I had. And I was thinking, I was looking through my yarn to see. I don't really have any certain cakes that go together, you know, the same colorway or something. Like I might have one or two, but I don't really have like four or more <coughs> of the same colorway so i need to think about that when i am purchasing yarn when i find it on sale somewhere and i am purchasing yarn that if i'm gonna make a blanket i need more than one or two so i'll keep that in mind and then um 
so by then I'm just like, you know, making more and more and more granny squares. So I have a niece that um, is going to be 13 this year. And it's my great niece. And actually she's just lost her grandmother in January, my sister. So I thought I had all these neon colors. I don't, I'm not sure exactly where I got these neon colors. They've been in my yarn cabinet for a little while. I think some of them came from Walmart. Some of them might have came from Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. But I had um, several neon colors. So I thought I'd make granny squares with those and put a blanket together for my great niece. So these are just like very loud neon colors. I'll show you these squares real quick because I just kind of went a little bit granny square cray cray. <laughs> Making all kinds. Um, so I, I've just been having fun making these granny squares. It's very relaxing. I could just make these while I'm um, visiting with a friend, watching TV, talking, just anything. So, and these are great for like taking in the car and such. So, um, and there's another one of the heart ones that I made. But yeah, I'm just really having so much fun making these. I really appreciate Terry's video and showing how to make the granny squares. And, um, but anyway, I guess you don't want to see like every little square I've made. <laughs> or do you? <laughs> And then I made rectangles, so I have a um, whole bunch of rectangles here that I've made to go into this blanket. So I hope my niece will like this. Um, it's warming up here, so I, I'm not in like a big hurry to get this made to gift it to her yet because it's warming up here. But in the fall, when it starts cooling off, is when I'll give it to her. And um, our fair is in the end of September, so I'll probably enter it in the fair and then gift it to her in October right after that. So here's a bunch of my little squares that I've made. And then I am putting a border around mine in black because I just think that makes the colors pop so well. And so the way I'm doing the border on this one, which is different from the baby blanket that I did, I decided just to do another row of the um, granny square stitch around it in black. And then I'm going to um, just sew those together. I'm just going to lay them facing each other and line them up and then just stitch if I can see the stitches. I'll have to like get a, one of my lights and my magnifying light and <laughs> look at that and just sew those together so that they open up like that. So um, I really like the black. I feel like it makes it pop really well and they're just pretty bright colors. So I've had a lot of fun making these. I really um, think I could just if I didn't do anything but make granny squares for the rest of my life, I think I'd be happy. And I had um, a Barnett Pop, I think the name of it is Lipstick on My Collar. I had two of those, and I took them apart and made, just balled up the yarn. And I made this little um, lovey size square, and I'm going to take it, and um, right here, I'm going to put a rabbit hat on it. So it'll be a little rabbit lovey. And... I have some more yarn, so I'm going to make several of these up just to have on hand for um, baby gifts and such. And probably uh, put one into the fair also. And then I was looking through my stash, and I'm going to find some boy colors and go ahead and make me up a 
bag of boy colors so I can make some boy um, loveys like that also. But um, yeah, I just really love doing this. That double crochet is just very relaxing to me. Uh, the rhythm of double crochet, just I could just do that all day long. It's very relaxing. So I'm enjoying that very much. So that is my granny square. I think that's all I have granny square projects going. That's enough, right? Well, three of them. The star blanket, the boy blanket, and the baby blanket are finished. So um, I have about two more rounds on this one to finish it up. Uh, this one's finished. I just got to put a head on it and some ears, rabbit ears. And uh, like I said, I think this will just be an ongoing project for me for the rest of my life. <laughs> I'm going to make up a bag of boy colors to have like this just to um, make more of these. And then I'm just going to keep going around these little squares and my rectangles and, and these in black. And this is a project that I'll just have out at all times. And just in between working on other projects, I can do a black border around a few squares. And then uh, eventually sew those together. I don't want to sew any together until I lay it all out and see how I want the squares to be. Uh, the squares and the rectangles and the little squares. So I'm kind of hesitant to sew any of that together yet, although I've been dying to do it. <laughs> but I think I want to get it all laid out first. And so that will prompt me to keep going at it. <laughs> but anyway, it's a fun project. And who knew I would get addicted to granny squares. So throughout this video, I'm going to try to pop pictures in at different places. So I hope that... Um, you can see those and thanks for watching thanks for stopping by for a visit and i will see you all again soon